Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm actually doing a review on a product that I purchased a while back, which is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. And I think that, I don't remember when I purchased it, I think it was like a month ago. Um, but I have been using it. It's one of my favorite foundations and I just wanted to share my thoughts about it. And I have my notes right here. Um, just a little bit about this product. So I did purchase this product. It is uh, considered a high-end foundation and it is mid-range. It is $50. Um, it does come in this sleek glass bottle. And typically NARS foundations are like the packaging looks really similar and the price point does stay put. So if you like NARS um, and if you enjoy using their products then you would like this one as well. This one is a medium buildable coverage, uh, which I do like. It does claim it has a natural finish. It blurs imperfections. It smooths the look of textured skin, helps conceal blemishes and dark spots and redness. Visibly improves skin clarity after six weeks of daily use. It is a vegan formula. It helps defend against environmental stressors and blue light. Strengthens the skin barrier to help maintain its moisture. This is for all skin types, including sensitive, and it is a breathable all-day wear formula. It comes in 36 shades for all skin tones and undertones, um, including cool, neutral, and warm. So, let me shake this. I know that on the packaging, well, it doesn't say shake well. Yeah, it says shake well. I... I think that the last one I really enjoyed was the Luminous Foundation. It was just it was perfect it just it stayed put um, it was slightly more on the matte side it was like a like a luminous matte it was, it was so pretty I wore that to a wedding in the summertime and it just lasted all day um, so this one is definitely it's more of a dewy finish I do have oily combination skin so it seems like you do have to set it with the powder I mean, but you don't have to like the foundation stays put yeah your oils may shine through throughout the day but it does not budge I can say that so I kind of put, put two pumps in the back of my hand as so and oh the shade I have is Punjab which is my go-to shade in NARS it's either that or Fiji but um, Fiji is just really, it looked like really ghostly on me. So I kind of stuck with this one. So I just brushed two pumps in the back of my hand, just letting that warm up a bit. And I applied a primer. I applied the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer with 4% Niacinamide. You don't have to wear a primer with this product. I typically don't. Um, but whenever I just want to make sure it lasts all day, then I would wear it. But even if not, it still does last all day it's just like I think I get like a slight bit more oily right here okay so I just warm it up and then I just apply it as so and as you see this color is it's not my like not my winter shade <laughs> Okay, then I will blend out the rest with a brush. I'm going to use a brush by Zoria. It's from Amazon, I know that. Um, I did receive it as a gift, but I can definitely include the link down below. And I'm gonna just buff it in the skin. So one thing about this color is it does not match my chest, but it matches like more of my neck and then the rest of my body. So I like, I try to even it out, but I think I need to wear more, um, 
Like when I go out and tan, I need to tan my chest area. Okay, now I'm going to apply concealer real quick. And since this is like a, I feel like it's a light medium coverage foundation, light to medium, um, I try to sheer it out as much as I can and use it as a nice light foundation because with um, with summer coming, I just don't want to wear something so heavy. This concealer is super full coverage, so I have to like sheer it out. It's best to like, I apply it on the back of my hand now and then just feel like I apply as needed. I don't know if you can see, um, besides the color not matching my chest, it gives a very nice glowy radiant finish. It's just, I mean I can't say it's completely dewy because it's not, it's just like a nice radiant finish. You don't get dewy, like if you have oily combo skin like me, you won't get like dewy until closer to the sixth hour mark. Then you start to get dewy just around right here. Maybe your cheeks get a slight bit dewy. Um, but it's not, it's nothing bad at all. It actually, I love it because I, I tried to look for more like glowy, dewy type of foundations. And this one is just right up my alley. The formula, it's just very nice. It blends in so easily in the skin. Um, there's no like streakiness or anything. You can use your fingers, you can use a sponge, you can use a brush. Um, I prefer either using a brush or my fingers. Um, I use my fingers like if I'm in a hurry and I'm not wearing primer, I just want to um, put my hair back and just like use my fingers and then I'll just go apply some mascara. But if you want like to lock it in, then I would say you can use a setting powder. The setting powder I use is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. And I have the little powder puff right here. And that's where it starts settling in the fine lines if I don't set it. But I don't set, I won't set it everywhere. <laughs> and if I use a setting powder for this, I mean, this is actually the only one I have, but if you use a setting powder for a glowy foundation and you don't want to take away that glow, then use, um, make sure the finish of the powder is like a radiant finish or a glow finish. And then if you want to matte by certain areas, then use a matte powder. I like to use my e.l.f. Luminous Putty Blush, and so it kind of goes hand in hand with it. It's very nice. And I'll go ahead and just apply a little bit with a brush. I will use a bronzer, which is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer. And let's just use a little bit of it. I don't want to use much because I feel like this foundation is already a little dark enough for, for me. So I do have a new lip liner. This one was from my Ipsy box. It is from Pear Nova. And it's just, I don't even know what color it is. A light ear, I think. It's just a pink. Neutral pink. Okay, actually I need my glasses on now. Can't do it without my glasses. Okay, so I did finish off my makeup. Um, this is it. Lipstick, actually, I used 
the color fetish lipstick in secret that's one of my favorites it's like a nude color um and yeah just i kept everything simple uh with this foundation it is a great medium coverage and i feel like it's more of a natural everyday type of wear i do love it it gives a great natural radiant finish and like i said at the end of the day you get that slight dewiness if you have oily skin if you have dry skin i think that it'll just be radiant all day or even no normal skin and i feel like that would work out but um but yeah i don't have any bad things to say about it i mean the closest thing to a con would be that i do start to get oily on around my t-zone especially like the nose area but it does not fade away and it doesn't budge so if i blot it with like an oil sheet i mean it would still be just as good like there's nothing bad and the makeup doesn't move i do love that and and again i have oily combo skin um, i don't have super oily skin but if you have super oily skin, I would say, you know, set it with a powder. If you want to set it with a matte powder to make it last and lock that in, that would be great. Um, but other than that, yeah, I definitely enjoy using this product. And it is, one again, one of my favorite foundations. I will definitely keep using this. And I can't believe I waited so long to get this product. If you have any questions about this product, just definitely leave a comment down below. And I will um, answer those. But um, if not, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.